All right, so we just uh, left the uh, Goodwill. Show you what I got. So I didn't. Hey guys, what is up? Hope y'all are doing awesome. This is my Saturday Thrift Day installment videos. Uh, this is video that I shot at a Goodwill outlet near me. Uh, this is a video that I was able to recover since I was having issues with my memory card and my battery, all these technological issues that I was having this particular day. So this is my second time at this particular Goodwill. Uh, this time I think it was awesome. I didn't get too many things, but the things that I found were super, super awesome. So many of you are wondering, what is the difference between a Goodwill and a Goodwill outlet? So Goodwill outlet stores are where items go after they sat on retail shelves for a long time. Items in these stores are sold by the pound as a one last chance before they are recycled or destroyed. Now you're wondering, how do these, this is work by the pound? So yes, most merchandise uh, like electronics and most goods within the bins are charged at 99 cents per pound. There's a scale at the cashier that they'll weigh it. Books and tapes are 25 cents, glassware are 49 cents a pound, and shoes are $1.49 a pound. So just remember that uh, contrary to normal Goodwill stores, there are no promotions, no deals, no colors, you can't use any coupons. Everything is sold by the pound, it's by bins. You pick it, they weigh it, you buy it. So upon walking in here, you walk in the first time, you're going to be like, what the heck did I walk myself into? You're going to see so many items. These are these blue bins, they're going to be laid out throughout the store. Uh, I have not been in a Goodwill where they actually bring out a fresh bin, but there, are, there were people in the store, like, picking stuff out and just taking items. So, again, you're going to find so many things here that it's worth just walking by it um, and, and seeing if you find something that, that suits you. Like for example, I found this uh, particular battery charger. It looked vintage. I couldn't find it online. I should have picked it up. It would have probably cost me like a dollar to buy it. Um, it. It looked something that was old school. Uh, but I found quite a few items at this. Like I only, I only walked out with five things and I only spent like five or six dollars, which is super cheap. You know, whatever doesn't sell here essentially ends up going into the dump. Now, while you walk throughout the, the store and you see all these bins, you're probably going to say, oh, maybe there's a rhythm or a reason why things are just placed around here. Well, there is. Anything can be anywhere. Uh, you, I mean, usually like the toys and the Christmas ornaments and stuff are usually going to be like tossed in one bin, but you'll find toys and Christmas ornaments in any other bin. Um, it's just not organized in any particular way. I mean, furniture and big ticket electronic items are typically going to be towards the side of the store. But if you notice over here, I found this Nerf gun. Seems very interesting. Um, I mean, it would have probably cost me like a dollar to buy it. They had a pretty decent resale value. My only gripe with these Nerf guns are that since they're like an unusual size or big, it's probably going to cost a lot of money to ship out. These might be good items to buy if you do like local yard sales or flea markets if they're successful in your area. But to flip them on eBay, I'm, I'm not quite sure uh, how that would work. But for a dollar... It's not worth, you know, it's it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's only a dollar. And if I don't want to sell it, then I could just buy the Nerf bullets and use them, you know. Should have bought the milk crate. I mean, I could have probably used that. But you're going to walk by, and there are so many things that, looking at the video roll on my computer, I'm like, maybe I should have picked this. Maybe I should have picked that. <laughs> yeah, it was this little piano type organ. It wasn't plugged in, but it was pretty cool. I don't know how, I mean, I'm sure that would probably be like a dollar or a pound. How do you weigh, I mean, how do you weigh a couch? It weighs 26 bucks, it's 26 dollars. I'm not sure, but, you know, if, if you're I'm just sorry, moving man. into a new, new place and you need furniture, why not? What is that? A video game? What? 
So this is where my wife found a uh, video game. It was a PS2 game, DDR Extreme 2. Uh, hmm? This game, I took a look at it. It had the manual in it. The disc would look, look it was fine. And I picked it up. It only cost, like, what, 50, 50 cents? 10 cents? I don't know. It's a dollar a pound. So I was able to list it, flipped it, and it sold on eBay. Surprisingly, this game cost me, like, what? 25 cents and I sold it for six bucks I just realized that I had picked up a oh, knife block yeah. set uh, at this Goodwill oh, that was a super awesome find oh, this one I believe had 13 or 14 slots on it uh, this weighed about almost four pounds so it cost me four bucks and I was able to list it on eBay for $25 so still waiting to be sold that wasn't bad I also found this neat game where in the world is Carmen San Diego the board game uh, it, there were a lot of copies on eBay. It would have been a pretty cool thing to buy. Hey, who grew up on PBS watching uh, that when they were kids, right? Uh, but yeah, I didn't pick this one up. But yeah. Just realizing too that with the knife block, I have not listed that yet on eBay. So um, see, it's reminding me of things that I have not done. So I need to do that. I think next time I come here, I'm going to take a little, like 30 minutes go through the clothes I mean I wouldn't be surprised if I found like an untucked shirt or something that has a pretty decent resale value on here I don't know if you've seen on uh, other YouTube channels yeah for a moment I thought that was uh, potentially an RC car but it's not it's just some kids car but RC cards can tend to be good valuable items to buy because they can even be parted out and sold four parts if necessary. These uh, books seem interesting at first but the issue is that they weren't in the complete set. If they would have been in the complete set it would have probably been worth buying and selling on eBay as a whole set but they weren't it was like two different uh, series or edition of uh, encyclopedias See, I can kind of see why this was packed with like amps and stuff. Okay. You know, you, you notice the changing trends with consumer electronics and what people have in their homes. Not many people are having, are using like 18 CD disc changers with their amplifier systems. They're all using like Bluetooth systems and wireless speakers. So it's just something that. You know, Sony Dream Machine. Eh. But I did find a Sony Dream Machine. If y'all have seen my previous videos, I rave about these. I love them. Plug it in. So, everyone knows my first rule. Test it. Make sure it works. So, upon testing it, it did work. I bought it. Based on what, what it weighed, it probably cost me like a dollar. And I listed it on eBay for $8.99. So, it's still on there. We're waiting for it to sell. You know, don't expect finding much, but do check it out because you might get lucky, they might bring something fresh out for this particular area. Alright, so we just uh, left the uh, Goodwill. Show you what I got. So I didn't um, record. Got the knife block. Got this video game, which resells pretty decently on eBay has everything in there and then the, the dream machine which it worked 
I paid it goes by a dollar a pound 634 yeah. my wife got she got a whole bunch of stuff um, she could like for something and what the coolest thing I think she got from there is this uh, complete book of William Shakespeare and the plays volume 2 I mean if you look at the pages it is definitely vintage year made 1853 so it's definitely vintage sorry if the camera's all shaky um, it was like 25 cents or 50 cents for the book it doesn't really go for much on eBay but so we are done today for uh, well my wife is in the store she uh, found a dress and she wanted to buy it so the line there was long it was hot people were wanting to leave so I bounced just waiting for her so here's what I got today the Goodwill that we were at today um, this is towards like South Jersey I would say um, it's like the Black Horse Center it's part of that Philly network of Goodwills they have a promotion like a text promotion if you opt in it's a uh, text goodwill to 51660 uh, you opt into it and then you get a 20% off which you can use it I, you know it says you can use it only for that day but I don't you know if your cell phone doesn't say the date I don't know how they're gonna verify it right um, but it's 20% off now from what I noticed is that I, I don't today uh, this at first I said oh look this, this looks like it's damaged I don't know if anybody's gonna want it. It's just a little storage container, and it's uh, it says Lincoln's licorice. I hate licorice, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, the cost for this item was two forty nine, but with the twenty percent off, I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. Right? Um, they, I one of these sold on eBay for. One of these sold on eBay for about thirteen dollars plus shipping, and then on the listing I was reading it. Um, it said, "Don't worry, the marks that you see on it, it's intentional." And then when I'm looking at, it, I'm like, "Oh yeah, you know what? It is intentional. It's not like it was purposely uh, done." We're not gonna resell this, but she found this pretty cool. We have a husky. Uh, she found this pretty cool wolf. I mean, I'll see if it's worth anything because I bought it, but it's uh, by a brand called. Lennox, it says 1992 Smithsonian. It this looks really neat, really cute. Um, it's really cute, and it doesn't feel cheap. Um, this was a I green think color. A brand. Oh, it is Lennox a brand. Is a brand. Oh, Lennox is a brand. Yes. See, I don't know these things. That's why we need Amy to do videos to educate us. This is a Logitech remote control. This is like one of those smart remote controls. It was. 1049 I ended up paying 839 for it um, I opened it up and I noticed the this is like a, a universal control but with the screen popping out but it looks good I mean I have double-a batteries at home but I think this requires better batteries um, I saw this on eBay there was one that was brand new the, there was only one listing and finally I know I picked one of these up I keep talking about the Sony dream machine I keep talking about it I just picked one up in uh, at the outlet so for the weight of this, maybe I paid a dollar for it over there. Uh, they these these resell pretty well. I did plug it in; it did work. The cost on this one was four forty nine, but it had it was red, so it had the fifty percent off. So I ended up paying two twenty four. You can't stack it, and if I can sell it for ten dollars, that's tripling my profit on it. So it's not bad uh, overall. So what did you think about this Goodwill? It was more organized. More organized more organized than other Goodwills or more organized than the outlet? Well, you can't compare the outlet. It's something different. How would you compare it to Unique? Well, Unique is very, very bigger, I think. Okay. How would you compare it then? <laughs> okay, goodbye. How would you compare it to Red, White, and Blue? I don't know. I guess I've reached the limit of questions for the day. <laughs> so... Uh, these are all the things that I got. Overall, I mean, I would go to another Goodwill right now if I could. 
Um, but I guess they close at seven on the on Google Maps. It says that they close at nine, but they're closing early. I guess because of the stupid COVID. But comment, you know, like this video, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Let me know what you like about these videos. I'm doing my best. I'm making sure that I'm editing these a little bit better. Uh, usually I dub over my voice when I'm in the store because uh, I try to avoid the music that the stores are playing, any conversations that people are having, um, and I also try not to talk to myself as much. I try to be low-key with this camera. I don't want people looking at me or getting kicked out of these stores like I did at the Red, White, and Blue. Um, so let me know what you think. Comment below. And until next time, take care.